Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine and welcome back to this channel. Now there's a lot of writing resources already out there. In fact, you're on one right now. YouTube is a great place to look if you need some writing tips or reading recommendations. It's actually where I started when I needed writing tips. Today, I'm gonna be giving you guys two writing resources that I don't think are really talked about here on YouTube or anything. I just, they're like life, life-changing writing resources. In my opinion, of course. So let's just get into it. Okay, so this first writing resource that I'm about to show you is seriously, like seriously, this is such a game changer. Like I'm not even kidding. I would be nothing without it. Like I'm gonna admit that because when I go back and like look at my writing from before I used to use this resource, it's just so bad, like it's garbage, it's not worth anything. But when I look at my writing now after I use this resource, it's really helped me, like I've really grown as a writer. I'm not as scared to show other people my work because I think it is good because this writing resource really helps me, especially when it comes to showing versus telling. I'm really like, I'm all about show. I know there's some cases where you need to tell, but I'm all about showing and this writing resource really helps me. So enough of the suspense, let's get into it. So this resource is the Emotion Thesaurus, a writer's guide to character expression. And it's written by Angela Ackerman and Becca Puglist. I am probably said that wrong and I'm sorry. I have the second edition and whew, it's just, it's really, really awesome. Like game changer. So the Canadian price for this for the paperback is just under $24, but the Kindle edition, the Canadian price is under $8, which is just like a takeout meal, fast food meal or two coffees or something like that, which this is a good price because usually when I'm writing, I just open my phone and I go look at it and perfectly I know what to do. So I'm actually gonna show you guys an example. So this will be in a voiceover format, but seriously, like seriously, like you guys need this. Like I'm not even kidding. I would be nothing without this. Okay, so here I have a random note set up and we'll just write something real quick so I can demonstrate how this works. So I'll just write, they found me. I could hear them I could hear their boots in the trees behind me. This is probably makes no sense. The sensation of, now see, I wanna write the sensation of fear. Now let's say I don't wanna write this anymore. I can write, describe fear, come back to it later, but to demonstrate, I'm gonna say the sensation of, and so I want my character to be, to be scared. So I go to Kindle. So I go to the Emotion Thesaurus, so this is the cover, and so I go into it and I'm like, hmm, I want to show my character is scared. So I go to the table of contents and I go to fear, because that's what she's feeling. So using the fear example, it has a definition of what fear is, and then it has a bunch of physical signals and behaviors. So there's so many, there's just so many. They have internal sensations. They have mental reactions, like wanting to flee. They have responses that you may have to this emotion, signs that this emotion is being suppressed, and what this may escalate to or may, what it may de-escalate to, and then associated power verbs. See, we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use some internal sensations. So racing heartbeat. The sensation of my heart racing and see I can just go back to it um, rock hard stomach was all but familiar to me okay and now let's get a physical sensation in because I want her to be that scared I want her to show that she's so scared okay see Let's use beads of sweat on the lip or forehead. So I can just say, sweat formed on my forehead. And I saw one that was looking around. See, right? There's one looking around, especially behind oneself. I'm sorry if you don't see it. I can't exactly point on this. But as I looked around rapidly, and I saw another one that said, legs tightening to escape. My legs 
tightening. I cannot spell tightening. Ready to make a run for it. Ready okay, to make a run for it. So I'm going to read it again. They found me. I could hear their boots in the trees behind me. The sensation of my heart raising and rock hard stomach was all but familiar to me. Sweat formed on my forehead as I looked around rapidly, my legs tightening, ready to make a run for it. So in my opinion, it still needs some editing, but like I just did this like so quickly because I could go back and forth between this thesaurus, whereas before I would have written, I could hear the roots in the trees behind me. The sensation of fear was all but familiar to me. And then I wouldn't know what to write after that to describe her fear. So this is what I mean by how just resourceful it is. And it has so many emotions. Like just look at this. It has around uh, like 200 and something emotions. It's amazing. Not only this, but they have other thesauruses too. They have the negative trait thesaurus, the positive trait thesaurus, which I actually have. I don't use it that much right now because I accidentally bought it and when I wanted to get the emotion thesaurus. Uh, they have setting thesaurus, they have urban setting, and they just have so many different kinds, which I think are so useful. I honestly don't see that many people talking about them, so I'm not sure if they're as well known as I don't think they are. Maybe they are, I don't know. But you guys need this. Like seriously, go buy right now. I'm gonna put the link for this in my description. I'm not sponsored. I'm just, I just really, I really think this is something that everybody who's a writer or anyone who likes creative writing for fun, like just whatever, they need this. Okay, so the second resource people might laugh at me for, but please do not click off as soon as I say it. Hear me out, hear me out, okay? Wattpad. I don't know if it's Wattpad or Wattpad, so I'm just gonna say Wattpad. Okay, so if you haven't clicked off, uh, I'll explain why this is such an amazing resource. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit of history about myself. If you care, if you don't, you can skip it, I guess. But uh, basically, I had a what I use the same Wattpad account. I made one in middle school when I was like 11 or something, and I used to read fan fictions on One Direction and I even tried writing my own and they were terrible. I just I just wrote and I'd get people saying good job or something and then I stopped going on it for like two years because honestly the books became really bad and now there's paid stories so it's kind of hard to find stories that I actually like and my friends that I made on there they grew out of it too but I'm back on it now and I am so thankful that I did because even though there's some negative changes, there's a lot of positive changes that Wattpad also came with. Okay, so first of all, you need a Wattpad account. So I'm not gonna show mine because I don't wanna expose myself, but <laughs> yeah, so you need a Wattpad account. And if you're not into writing, you can read on Wattpad. Personally for me, I feel like it's hard to find some good books out there, but there are hidden gems and most of them are free. Uh, so you can read those if you want some free reading. But here comes the new edition that Wattpad came with that totally just changed everything. It just changed everything. Okay, so first this is the Wattpad homepage and you can see that they have paid stories and they have bestsellers for these paid stories. You can also go to browse and you can go to any genre you want. Let's say I want to look at thriller. You can go to thriller and you can find stories that are cool. Like, let's say I want to read Storm. You just go on it and you start reading. I, it's pretty basic. If you want to write, you just go up here to write and you go to my stories and you write, you can also view your profile. I'm not gonna share mine. But what I'm gonna show you now is wattpadwriters.com. So this is what the homepage looks like. Now, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, so you go to categories. There's so many categories and I'm, I'm just gonna share the ones that I think are helpful for now. So you, the first category is share your story. Now, I don't go on this that much, but let's say I have a fantasy story. Um, so, if I have a fantasy story, I just click on it and then they have specific genres. Let's say mine is science, fantasy, sure. You just, there's some information on what, how you, how you share your story and then you just share it. And you can get more people to read your book like that. Now, the game changing category that I think is totally worth this website is improve your writing so if you go on this 
there's a bunch of threads where people ask questions like here someone's asking this and so much more uh, and you can really just get help from so many people. It's like insane how much help you can get. In fact, I even made my own posts and I will go share them with you. I'll try and hide what my account name is, but um... So some of the topics I've had is not sure if this is a problem or not regarding skin color and i got 78 replies on this uh there's some drama happening later on but uh i basically i just asked a color about one of my characters skin color and people were so they just gave their opinions about it and gave me responses so i got to see um what they thought about my character skin color specific to my question i'm not gonna like actually show it because yeah that this isn't a good example but and then there's so many other categories you can go into like the cafe is where if you want to make some writing friends um industry insider i think that's about let me see it's about traditional publishing and publishing uh and self-publishing literary agents so if you want that kind of information and there's also genre club so this is information specific to uh genres you're writing in so let's say i'm writing in fantasy i can go to fantasy and People ask questions like I need to rewrite my book or or rivals in fantasy like these kind of questions but there's also story services now this is another writing resource that I think is totally worth going on this website so they have specific categories for this for under story services critiques and feedback covers and graphics book clubs editing book trailers general writing help and writing groups co-writer writing buddies, beta readers needed, writing contest competitions, and special services. Now I'm going to show you guys critiques and feedback because that's the one I use most. But basically people put posts where they say feedback for feedback. So like this is a situation where your book is published on Wattpad. So they will post feedback for feedback. So I'll click on one for example, like let's say read for readback feedback with a heart. And basically they say they will be giving constructive criticism and base and usually the payment is just to read their book as well so that they can get criticism as well and this is where this is totally worth it because I know it's hard to get constructive criticism on like for me personally it's hard for me to get constructive criticism on my writing and this website really helps me with that the best part about it is that anonymous people are reading it so you're not getting biased opinions in my writing that i have on here i actually put questions at the bottom like did any scene feel dull was there any character who was over dramatic and a lot of the people who i exchanged these feedback for feedbacks with they answered those questions for me and it was just really helpful and i just feel grateful because they want feedback too so these this is a, such an amazing resource where you can find free people to read your book and give you constructive criticism you can also find beta readers they have a category for that as well and you can find editors on the improve my writing category you can ask specific questions you can even make friends like i've actually made a new friend recently on webpad so that's pretty cool but yeah it's just an amazing resource that i think everyone should use so those are the only two resources i have i haven't found any others that really really help me that like i need to like go out of my way and make a video about if you guys have any you can comment some in the comment section below if you like this video please like and subscribe and yeah tune in for my next video bye